uh, with regards to the extent of wearing makeup. Uh, in plain English, a woman may wear any makeup for her husband, but only for her husband. So that what he sees outside is all available at home. So he would not be persuaded by the fitna and the temptation of women outside, provided that it is not something which you wear and it causes any damage to your uh, skin or to your eyes or to your, you know, because there are some of these uh, makeup products uh, are uh, carcinogenic, in fact. So avoid anything that is, there is a warning against it. And also with the hairstyle, you're not imitating uh, an unbeliever or the people of fusuk and rebelliousness, dancers, singers, and actors and actresses, you know, you're being yourself, you're adorning yourself, wearing whatever makeup to make sure that yourself a beauty queen at home for your husband. Any other makeup should not be worn when you're leaving home. When some sisters who she believes herself muhajjaba, yani wearing hijab, there are in, in, in our uh, Middle Eastern world nowadays, there is lately in the past 10 years, 15 years, a new fashion. Everybody, or most women are wearing hijab, but they are not wearing hijab. Fulfilling the prophecy of the Prophet وسلم, when he said, Nisa'un kasiyatun ariyat. She's covered, but she's covered with what? With very revealing clothes, very tight. She was, they believe that the hijab is a scarf. Is a scarf. She makes her head like a cucumber wearing too many things, different colors, and then wearing full makeup, um, lipstick and eyeliners and artificial eyelashes and, and all of that. Why? Going out, going to the mall, going to the park, going to picnic, attending parties. This is absolutely forbidden. And the Nabi وسلم, warned against that. He did not even allow a Muslim woman to wear perfume while going out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah An-Nur in Ayah number 31, وَلَا يَضْرِبْنَ بِأَرْجُلِهِنَّ لِيُعْلَمَ مَا يُخْفِينَ مِنْ زِينَتِهِنَّ Beautiful ayah. Please, every Muslim woman must learn this ayah, memorize it, and ponder over its, each segment of it. Uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the hijab for women in this ayah, He said, also by the way, let not women stand by their feet while walking because when they do it will expose their zina you know if a woman is wearing abaa beneath the abaa she is wearing whatever zina whenever you wear the perfume it is ringing the bell i'm a beautiful lady passing by look at me whenever women in the past you used to wear ankles so when they stand by their feet it will make noise to alert the audience there is a female passing by we're not being paranoid, but we're saying that modesty is to eliminate the causes of fitna from the society. High heels, likewise. Anything that attracts a man who is not your husband, avoid it. And all the forms of attraction, save it home. What, what we hear about as a counselor, as a marriage counselor, I hear about the opposite. Women going out, they are like, they make themselves beauty queen. And at home, Allahumma